This is a favorite question that people typically get wrong. What is the answer? You will hear it as being ambiguous, but there is only one answer. In school, we are taught an order of operation, but few know or understand what this means. If you can solve this problem, then you will know how much you can withdraw in retirement. Unfortunately, like this equation, how much you can withdraw in retirement is viewed incorrectly. Let's listen to Dave Ramsey again. You don't need to have a 3% withdrawal rate. That's ridiculous. Um, or I hope you misunderstood. I hope we didn't put out trash like that. Was maybe, it 4 to 5%? Like maybe, the, No, it shouldn't be 4 to 5%. It ought to be more than that. Why yeah. is it that stupid, though? Like, I it's just wanna... too low. It's too low because it's not realistic. You do not need to live on 4% of your money for your nest egg to survive. Yeah, even if you did a rate of and return of set, 10% and, or something. Yeah, and what it sets up is... This guy now, he, he doesn't he doesn't think he's got enough money. And he's already got $120,000, and he's 30 years old, and he's on a plan. He's on a plan to be very wealthy, and he's worried he's going to have enough money or not. Yeah. What did you hear? What should you hear? Do you remember this picture from the last video? What were or are your thoughts? Isn't it amazing how all of these are connected? So, what is the answer to the problem? I am curious how many of you think it's nine. In school, we are taught in an oversimplification manner and miss the meaning. Those who chose nine know why. Therefore, there is no need to get into the reasoning of your choice. Like investing, it does not matter in which country you learn how to solve the equation or what acronym or order you were taught, such as parentheses, brackets, juxtaposition, left to right, etc. The answer is one. We are now at the most important juncture of the video. Do you continue watching or quit? The most interesting part for those who said, one, do you want to know how to explain the answer and leave no reasonable doubt? The 4% withdrawal rate is a guideline, but how can it be a guideline when the originator changed the value multiple times? We have become so inundated with rules that we forget to reason. Put another way, we don't ask why. Why is it that stupid though? Using simple math, you should notice that this picture is using a 6% withdrawal rate. Noticing this, you should ask why. Let's apply the order of operations correctly, which is very simple and fourth grade math fourth grade math. We bring the multiplier inside the parentheses. What are you thinking? I am willing to bet you are saying that I violated the parentheses first action. This thought is the reason I posted the last video. AI is not only artificial intelligence. It is you being set in your ways and not wanting to listen, learn, or understand. It is what keeps you poor. I am happy to have met Clemence. I am trying to show her math is fun. I have to think outside of the box. Let's rewrite the equation. If you watched my other videos, then you will know that I think research papers are biased and use data manipulation techniques similar to a sales pitch. Using variables, you should see how the value is one and easily obtained using simple fourth grade math. 
I know some of you still have doubts, and that's okay. I am again curious to how many who thought the answer was nine are still watching. I have not been able to post the financial education videos that will make you wealthy and able to retire early while enjoying life today as you know it because they will get lost to those interested in retiring early or wealthy. This figure is worth a month of classes in school, which is why I am trying to get the teaching of financial education in school from 1st to 12th grade. I am sure I know what you would do if you were in Bill's situation. Here is another rendition of our original question with different numbers. Again, you can see by multiplying the numbers or variables together, the result is 1. In this case, we can remove the parentheses for simplicity and transform the number into exponential form. Now, I think you may understand how the value is 1, but I am sure there are still some doubters. This equation also yields 1. This means using the first and last equation, we can determine the answer regardless of whether it is a fraction or even a number not equal to 1 with consistency. There's that word again from an earlier video. Consistency. Financial education needs consistency. You may still have doubts with the way I've worked it because you think the parentheses first, then the multiplications. So let's use reverse psychology. No, I'm not going to say reverse mathematics. We're going to use reverse psychology. Psychology is associated with money as well. How did you apply the parentheses first application? Because you added the numbers? Well, look at it this way. You divided first, and then you still have the numbers in parentheses. So the question is, are you just saying that you use the parentheses? And it's an operation, a parenthetical operation. You can use associative properties, distributive properties, or are these meaningless in math? To the teachers that have been teaching math for 10 years or more and say that I'm wrong, one final question for you, because you've been teaching long enough. How many planets are there? Eight or nine? You, who have been teaching for 10 years or more, had nine planets only to have it changed during your curriculum in schools. Isn't that amazing? So how does your teaching it apply? These are the questions that we need to ask ourselves because math is actually quite easy. In time, I will provide you with consistent material so that you can make informed decisions and live happily ever after. Do you know your retirement withdrawal rate?